Hello, hello, I'm the official name reader. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today, we're looking at Archie's, Archie's signature Pokemon, Carvana and Sharpedo. Okay, so I'm going to acknowledge these two together. Firstly, Undyne. That one's a very, very popular one. I just see that a bunch. I just never really talk about it. I'm 99% sure that it's not originally from Undertale because I see it on posts that show up before Undertale even existed. Um, a quick Google search finds Undyne is mostly just Undertale and then one thing that said Water Nymphs, so I guess that's what it's based off of. Someone knows more, feel free to let me know. But I'm gonna acknowledge it because it's popular and you're gonna see it on like every single water type ever. And then I kind of want to make fun of Jarkniv because that's like really dumb. And I thought he like was trying to say jackknife and like fucked it up, but that wasn't even his intent. So just everything about this one was terrible. I'll acknowledge Megalodon because honestly, it sounds like the name of a fucking metal band. Probably because it Mastodon exists, maybe. Um, I don't know, it's just some prehistoric shark thing, so if you care, sure, I don't know, part of me says don't do it, another part says let it pass, but I'll acknowledge it here and move on. Jaws, this was basically like the number one thing I came in expecting, do I think it's great? Not particularly, do I think people are going to use it and cling onto it? Yeah, totally. Just not for me. Riptide, generic water type nickname, we've seen this plenty of times before, literally what the hell is ass rocket? Bruce, I remember uh, my brother putting this one on Sharpedo, except he spelled it wrong. He used an S instead of a C. Um, yeah, I don't really care for it at all. Bruce is just any other fucking jackass in your fucking math class. No one cares about Bruce. Do I get his reference? Sure. Jawbreaker, we've seen this uh, quite a few times. Uh, I remember it being the highlight of the Golem episode, and I'm pretty sure we talked about it recently with some Hoenn Pokemon. I don't remember who it was. But uh, I think it was something about bitey Pokemon, so if you care to, sure, but um, I don't know. I'm half and half on it. It's always worth talking about, I guess. Okay, I'm going to technically be three of these together, even though two are the same. So Game Shark, I'm actually half and half on, because for those of you in the before times, the very, very long ago times, Game Sharks were a thing you used to hack video games. They weren't uh, supported by a Nintendo or any video game publication but they still existed and um that's okay because it's a literal shark in a literal game and then speedo is just kind of funny and cheesy and also works with its very fast nature and also just a hilarious visual oh good god imagine fan art of sharpedo with legs wearing speedos sushi i know we've seen this before i want to say it was magic carp if not i'm just thinking of it and talking about it before but um i'm okay with sushi as a nickname uh, I don't know if... I feel like people probably eat sharks. Probably not exactly, like, advised, unless you're in Japan where that kind of thing is legal, but... Um, yeah, sushi is generally a good nickname for most fish-type Pokemon. Problem is, I feel like most of the fish-type Pokemon that exist don't really resemble it, because most of them are, like, either evolve into something that's not a pure fish, or they are, like, freshwater fish opposed to ocean fish. I don't know. I want someone to make a team where it's like Sharpedo and Drizzle Pelper with Hurricane. And then you could call it the Sharknado team. Make this a reality for me. I'm okay with Sharknado. It's dumb, it's cheesy, it's very, very famous. Uh, nothing else like it. It's a shame it can't learn Hurricane. That would just make it so much better, so you're just gonna have to, like, Pair it with someone that can, and then you can have the Sharknado team. A, her a whirlwind of teeth. Outside of your weeb reasons, I'm not sure if someone would see Indianapolis and be like, Oh yeah, the warship! They'd think, oh yeah, Indiana. So, your weeb reasons go unnoticed. But I'm okay with the idea of location-based nicknames, so it's fine. Lockjaw, totally okay with. Um, I think if anyone... If Oh, damn, because I use Lockjaw for, for Alligator, but I think it would fit Sharpedo best because Carvana, Piranha, representing Lockjaw, closest, and then he evolves into bigger, bitier thing. But uh, I'm, I'm totally down with that one. Again, I use it for, for, for Alligator. I'm not going to get rid of it, but um, that's good. 
You know, we were on a, a pretty good roll with nicknames that weren't utter trash, but uh, all good things must come to an end. So, Jawsome, this guy has suggested on multiple different Pokemon. That's totally okay. I'm not trashing him for that. But um, we've seen it a lot. It's corny, but I get it as a nickname. Game Shark, we already talked about. Sharkeisha does not sound beautiful yet terrifying. That sounds like a very trashy ghetto girl. And then Sharkimi sounds like you're trying to combine like shark and sashimi. So, yet again, different effects is what you're given. I don't care for either of them. Jaws we've already talked about. Jawbreaker we've already talked about. Uh, Rip Jaws, he's suggested in the past plenty of times before. It just sounds like you're trying too hard to sound cool. And as a result, you sound like a loser. So... Alright, so we're going to kind of group all these together because they're all the same vein. Cuba, Havana, Copacabana. They're just location-based nicknames like we talked about with Indianapolis. You want to use it, I'm totally fine with it. So I'm thinking a little bit about these. I think the one I disagree with the most is Samba. Because when I think of Samba music, I don't think about a fast, vicious shark that kills people. If you want to put that for maybe Ludicolo, that's a better fit. Um... Carnival, I'm impartial to, don't really care one way or the other. Um, Hio and Janeiro. Um, if you want to combine it together, Hio de Janeiro, that's fine. Like, I get that. I don't necessarily think it um, splits by itself. I'm also 99% sure, I'm going to put English pronunciation on this, there is a Vegas casino called Rio, and I have a shiny Klotzer that I got in a I think it was a Wonder Trade. And a Wonder Trade named Rio as well. And I was like, it made me start thinking about Vegas casinos and how cool of an idea that would be. But I think by themselves, um, no. If you want literal translations, it means river in January. They named their city and state January River. Brazil is smart. Alternative idea? Just name it Brazil! Technically, <laughs> I was thinking about this earlier when I, uh, I was thinking about the Finding Nemo, the little quote with the little girl. I'm a piranha, dead Amazon. So I mean, there you go. You got your association there. And I'll, uh, I had to full screen this because the stupid thing was too small. Bermuda Triangle. I'm okay with that. Just Bermuda and proof that Rio de Janeiro fits. So you hear the song playing? Yeah. And what I said at the beginning of the video, that too. Archie. You want to name it after Archie? That's fine. It's what he's known for. I kind of can't help but wonder, though, like, if it weren't for the remakes, like, would Sharpedo and Camerops even get a Mega? Like, that was all based purely on the fact that those were their signature Pokemon. And that's the only reason, and that's kind of a crazy thing to think about. Alternative team idea. If you don't want to do Sharknado, find somebody to make Lava Girl, and then you can do Shark Boy in Lava Girl. And then you can pair it with my good friend... Gex in 3D! Alright, so we've reached the bottom. Pinterest literally just links back to Denny. Um, we found quite a bit, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty impressed. I think we got a decent selection for you guys. Check in the spreadsheet. Have you seen the Chomping Ropping Mall? I think it's terrible. No, would not recommend that. Anyway, so there's quite a few that weren't even in Google that I wanted to highlight, but uh, we'll go over what we found first. So Lockjaw, I use that for, for Alligator. It, it's okay, I'm fine with that. Sharknado was good. Sushi's okay. Now I also want to highlight some comments that were suggested, and uh, one of them being Scurvy, which I'm totally fine with because it fits off the pirate theme, which I think if you're going to do something like that, a pirate theme is a good direction to go in. And then Ripper, which I'm honestly not too crazy about, but like, eh, it's fine. The main thing it kind of makes me think of is just the fact that, um, this is just, this has nothing to do with Sharpedo. But in Banjo-Kazooie, one of the possible nicknames for Gruntilda's dog is Ripper. That's also the name of the tombstone enemy that can come and attack you. There's nerd trivia that you won't benefit from at all. Okay, back to um, other ideas though. <laughs> Actually, while well, on the subject of Banjo Kazooie, Snacker, the shark from Banjo Kazooie, is the one that I like the best. But I just had this idea literally before I started recording, 
and that was what if you named it Anchor Age after the beta shark Pokemon from um, Gold Silver, which arguably is the coolest fucking Pokemon on that entire thing, and I'm so disappointed we didn't get it. And I also think it's really, really dumb that it evolved into something else because that is like the best fucking thing. So like that should be its own Pokemon. They should have cut the evolution line there instead of making it evolve again. So like Everstone that or uh, yeah Everstone that bitch. Um, also thought about Nash from Crash. I think it was Nitro Kart. Yeah, it should be Nitro Kart. Idea hit. I don't know, just an idea. And then another idea that I thought of was the because I'm pretty sure I talked about this before. Animalities for Mortal Kombat. And the one who has an animality for a shark is Cyrax, which that right there, as a name by itself, that's going to stand out. I've been told from, like, looking at comments on Mortal Kombat-related videos that that's, like, just kind of a real African name, which is firstly kind of a cool name, but also never would have guessed. So, I don't know. I think most people outside of the continent of Africa are probably going to think Mortal Kombat and just get that. They might not get that it's an animality because it was used once 25 years ago and never again, but yeah, just an idea I had. But um, again, the one I'm, I don't know if I would say, I don't even think I have mine currently nicknamed, but the top choice for me is Snacker. Snacker's always been like one of the coolest sharks to me in video games, but any and all suggestions you have for Sharpedo, put in the comments below. Give a thumbs up to the ones that you think are good. Hopefully this video has helped you in some capacity. So let's continue to help the public by providing ideas in the comments. And maybe if I think of some stuff later, it'll be in the description too.